This headless professor video is about how we round numbers. And the basic rule is to always go to whatever is closer. How do you do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. There is a simple technique, and it's looking to the right of the digit that we wish to round off to. Now, let's take an example. Here we have a number, 2,000. 104.9501. What's very important in all rounding is to remember the places that each one of these digits represents. The 2 represents the thousands place. The 1 is the hundreds place. This 0 happens to be in the tens place. The 4 is in the ones place. The 9 is in the tenths place. The 5 is in the hundredths place. This 0 is in the thousandths place. And this 1 is in the ten thousandths place. One of the rules for rounding is that we round up if the number to the right happens to be larger than 5. In other words, a 6, 7, 8, or 9. So, suppose we wanted to figure out if uh, we should round this number to the ones place. Should we leave it and round down to 2,104? Or should we round up to 2,000? 105. Well, we look to the right of the designated digit that we wish to round off to. And if we look to the right, that brings us to the tenths place. And we see a 9 in the tenths place. Now remember rule 1, if we see a 9, we should round up. And here's why. 2,104.9 would be about there in the diagram. It's certainly past the halfway mark of 2,104.5, so we're closer to 2,105 than we are to 2,104 round up. Rule 2 says we should round down when the number to the right is lower than 5, when it is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So, if we're going to round to the thousands place, we're going to round down to 2,000 or round up to 3,000. Now, halfway in between the two would be 2,500, but look again at our original number, 2,104 and something. Well, that's going to be much closer to 2,000 than it is to 3,000, and therefore we should round down to 2,000. Rule 3 is called the Rule of 5 Plus. And when we have a 5 to the right of our designated digit, and we have anything except a stream of pure zeros after the 5, then we're over the halfway mark, and we should round up. For example, in dealing with the number we have, 2,104.9501, suppose we wanted to round to the tenths place. Should we round down to 2,104.9? Or should we round up to 2,105.0? Well, the halfway mark would be 2,104.95. Now, look again at our number, 2,104.9501. Now, the fact that we have a 0, 1 after the 5 indicates that we're just a teensy, weensy, itsy, bitsy little bit above that halfway point. So we're a little bit closer to the 2,105.0. That's the roundup that we should do here. 
Well, then we have a rule for when we're right at that midpoint. This is rule number four, the rule of five flat. And here the rule is that we go up half the time and down half the time. We always round to the even. So let's suppose that we did not have the 0, 5 at the end of this expression. We just had 2,104.95. And when we looked at this particular situation, and we had to decide whether to round down to this number or round up to this number, we were right in the middle. And so what I'm saying here is because this is even and this is odd, we should round up in this particular case. Well, that's the Headless Professor video on the rules.